Me. Don't do nothing dumb with your 1,400 <laughs> stimulus. Also me. <laughs> so we need to except for the baby cow. <laughs> To celebrate National Agriculture Week, Hannah and I have put together a collection of agricultural memes that were floating around the internet. We're going to review them for you today to find the very best memes. Before we get started, Hannah, I just wanted to say, Gluten Morgan. <laughs> That's funny! That's so funny. Gluten Morgan. Yes. Gluten Morgan. I Gluten did. Morgan. It's I get like it. Good morning, but agriculture and Germany. Yes, I, I, I got it. If only it were International Agriculture Week. But it's not. Moving on. Someone called Kellogg's. The frosted mini wheat harvest is ready. <laughs> Those kind of look like frosted mini wheats. I give this one a five. Sure. In um, case you were out there wondering, this is 100% where your cereal comes from. This is how frosted mini wheats yeah. are harvested. Some people don't actually know this. Remember, you're the one who said we can't be sarcastic nope. on this. People nope. don't this actually is, this know. This is for sure how they're farmed, just yeah. like this. You just roll up the hay bales into big round bales and wait for the first snow. And then you call Kellogg's, you get them on the phone, and you ship it out. Alternatively, you grow grain, grind it up, and uh, process it. One of the two. Me holds wheat in Minecraft. All of the animals on my farm. <laughs> Have you ever played Minecraft? Two. But only because Hannah doesn't properly understand Minecraft to really appreciate this. Let's get this bread. Let's obtain this grain. Let's yeet this yeast. Tis the hour to get some flour. <laughs> John Deere stands behind all of their equipment, except for their manure spreader. <laughs> That's a smart, smart uh, John Deere. Don't stand behind those. This is a classic meme. I feel like I've seen a version of this before, and so it's not really a, that original, original, but it's, but so it's good. It's so quality. It's a ti this is a timeless agricultural truth. Yeah. We'll rank it a, a solid three. It's great reeves of waste to be fertilizer. Oh, yes. Don't stand behind it. But don't stand behind it. This is cutting why you it. want to be on the front lines of new innovations. Yeah, cutting it. Don't, don't, don't lag behind. My new R series has RID, IVT, GPS, DEF, MFWD, and satellite radio. What's yours got? <laughs> no fame. <laughs> oh, 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 this one funny. hurts. Farm equipment is so expensive. So expensive, people. Like hundreds of thousands half a million dollar all all large machines i'm i work for a contracting company and so it's not tractors it's like dozers and backhoes and excavators and anything that starts to get larger than like a lawnmower okay. <laughs> <laughs> that has to get ridiculously expensive yeah but there's a lot of benefits to having that new technology and so in the long run, a lot of times it pays for itself and it's very useful. It's kind of like having, you know, a smartphone versus having a flip phone. You know, you can do, you can get by with a flip phone. It can do all of the things that you need it to do, but it's going to work much more efficiently and it's going to give you a greater capability of what you can accomplish if you get the smart device. And so that's kind of the way maybe looking at like an old tractor versus a newer tractor. It's like a flip phone versus, you know, the latest smartphone, whether that's an iPhone or an Android or whatever. Wake, Wake me, me up, up when, when September, September ends. <laughs> like when hay season is over. <laughs> Kid's not gonna get away with that. You don't sleep during harvest season. Alternatively, you live in Yuma, Arizona, and then hay season never ends. <laughs> And then you never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you did 20 reps at the gym. Cool <laughs> story, bro. <laughs> that one's good. That's gotta be at least a four. I feel like this is so relatable, though. It is so relatable. When I... I remember going to college, and you spend a lot of time studying and doing homework, etc. And I actually had to like, intentionally work out, which was a very new experience for me. Yeah. Um, growing up and like in high school, I never worked out. I just worked. <laughs> yeah. And I was super strong and super fit, but it was just hay bales are heavy. Water buckets are heavy. Are heavy. They're like, do you work out? And I say, no, I just work. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I guess I'm just feeling a little bit melancholy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. That's cute. We wow, love what puns. We... What can we say? We love puns. And what a conveniently, like, what are those called? Scarring? Scarring, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but... Well, this... Is convenient. Very convenient to make such a beautiful name. How serendipitous. I'm not sure if you're going to get this one, but... I probably won't. It's kind of agriculture and kind of not, but it's really funny to me. How many strawberries did we squeeze in? 22, exclamation mark. Plus one half bananas, blah, blah, blah. Wow. How did they even find... This many strawberries. That's let's see, thousand, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, sep, sect, sect, over one sectillion strawberries went into this this bottle, right here. This little smoothie. Do you get it? No. They said 22 exclamation mark. <laughs> you know what that means, right? In math? Mm -hmm. So it's 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times... I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it had to do with math and I was like, I already don't understand. <laughs> My head already hurts, you guys. <laughs> but it's funny because they're thinking that they said they put 22 strawberries in this bottle. Uh huh. <laughs> but they made an exclamation mark, so it's actually. If you don't. Wait. Who? You need. Who it. did this? They had to have a math major. Right. I don't. Okay, whoever yes. made this post. But, but what I'm saying. No. Nobody <laughs> else would have looked at that and thought that. Nobody Everyone. else in what? the world. No. Okay. I want you in in the comment section if you see a number and you have a little exclamation point after it, if that's what your brain goes to. What are those called, factorials? <laughs> she just asked me about math, you guys. After I clearly said, <laughs> I don't get math and I don't like math. The audacity. Uh, yes, it's factorial. Oh my goodness, I'm so mathy, I know what these things are. Well, you uh, also took college level math. So this I was in so. high school. This is literally what? like algebra Did I learn two. That in high school? You should have. Probably. These were the I worst. probably I just these purposely ones. forgot. I blocked those memories out. <gasps> You're gonna need this in soils. They used factorials in a soil. Well, equation. it's good to know. They'll teach me again in college. Yes. Um, Mathematics and English in college are honestly what scare me the most. Those are the two things that literally everything else is based on. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's going to college this fall, and basically she's like, so the premise of everything that I'm about to do here scares me. <laughs> exactly, girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> Which is okay. That's our, those are fair feelings, but it'll be fine. Go anyways, make friends, talk to professors, go to tutoring, find people to help you. It's worth it. But also... If you see numbers with an exclamation mark, tell, let us know in the comment section if you think of a factorial. Are you Team Nerea or Team Hannah? Okay, next one. Other girls in cold weather. Mm -hmm. Farm girls doing barn chores in cold weather. That's me in cold weather period too. Even now that I don't do chores anymore, when I just go to work, got my beanie and my 
one sweatshirt with a hood and my other coat and then you got your like two layers of pants on you put your gloves on and some people are like oh my goodness winter i get to look so cute and get to go so styling and they like dress up nice so they can walk from their warm house to their warm car to their warm restaurant or job or whatever and they can look like cute they and styly cute all winter. Wintry. Where when you're on an outdoor agricultural type operation, you never get to look cute. This person could be dressed cute under those 12 different layers of clothing. You could be. You'll just never know. You'll never know. Some people are. Beginning of calf season. <laughs> Mid calving <laughs> season. <laughs> Post calving <laughs> season. This needs no more words. <laughs> there needs to be no uh, more explanation. If you know, you know, and if you don't, Go get some cows and figure it out. Five. When you spend your whole life at the barn neglecting to learn any domestic skills, then get asked to help make Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> this is me in the kitchen. We haven't, we got an Instapot from my mom after one of us broke the crock pot. And so she has this wonderful Instapot. And then every once in a while they're like, Hannah, hey, can you put this thing in the Instapot? And I put it in the Instapot and I realized I have no idea how to work the Instapot. <laughs> What are you raised in a barn? And you're kind of like, uh, uh, yes, y yes. <laughs> Pyramids around the world: Egypt, Mexico, China. Agriculture, heck yeah. That's me. Uh, this is for that. all of our agronomists and soils nerds out there. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I love that. And if you don't know, the pyramid of agriculture is just a soils triangle that helps you determine what the texture of the soil is based on the percentage of sand, silt, or clay that's in that soil. Sand, silt, and clay are the three particle types, and they're based on the size of the particle. And so if you didn't know, now, now you, you know. know. How does everyone know when fruits are in season? When did you learn that? Did I miss fruit season day in algebra? Did you swallow a farmer's almanac? Why are peaches only in season for eight <laughs> hours a year? <laughs> I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video to the USDA website that tells you when a bunch of different fruits are in season and which things are in season at what time. You're welcome. What they won't tell you is how to pick out the perfect ripe ones or what to look for. So look forward to our videos. Still. Look forward to our videos. How does this make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pizza and pineapple. <laughs> do you have strong feelings about this, Hannah? Do you, do you feel angry right now? Do you feel happy? How does this make you feel? <laughs> I'll say one thing, this makes me happier than having pineapple on my pizza. It might taste better, honestly. I used to be a, here's, here's a full disclosure, I used to be a pineapple on pizza hater. Hannah's still a pineapple on pizza hater. I can live with it, I just don't like it. I have um, expanded my worldview since I was a young FFA member when all the state officers would come to your chapter visit and they would ask you if pineapple belonged on pizza and they would get the whole class room in an uproar debate over this classic argument. This Agricul is the perfect answer to that argument. Um, I prefer my <laughs> pizza on the pineapple. <laughs> uh, so next time you have a state officer visit your chapter or anyone in agriculture try to like spark a debate by bringing up this topic, we have the answer for you. You're welcome. Yes. When you remember it was your own decision to own cattle. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> uh, so this is only true during some times of the year. I saw like another picture somewhere where it was like owning cattle in like June, July, August. You're like, I love cows, I love cows, I love cows. And then the winter season and then spring calving season at the end of winter comes around and you're like i hate cows we have too many cows we have too many cows this is the worst i hate cows why do i own cows and, and then like, I love cows. I april love may cows. comes I back love cows. around and i love cows yeah that <laughs> i mean honestly you guys most ranchers are ranching because they love cows and they love ranching and they have a second job that actually supports their ranch you don't make a lot of money as a rancher. 
And so when it is your own decision to own cattle, and they're not doing it. You do it because you love it, you otherwise you wouldn't you be it. doing it, because it's hard work and not a lot of money. Yes. When the tax man is snooping why you wrote off the RV. When you do taxes, you can get deductions for farm equipment. And so he wrote off a deduction for his RV. And it's the idea, like, he's getting audited. They're like, uh, oh, this is, a t this is like, for agriculture or whatever. So you just hook it up ooh, to the ooh, grain cart and pull, pull it up. next to the combine. Wow, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, honestly, I wouldn't put this past actually happening sometime. I would not. The other tractor's broken, and it's got to get done. What you going to do? And... You're like, hey, we got the IRV over there. They're, just, they're very resourceful. And they will use whatever it takes to get through their harvesting season. What is this? Are we rating I this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's funny. We're going to give this a five. These are good. These ones have been good. Okay. We're going to keep this short and sweet. Thanks for watching our video. Celebrate National Ag Week. Thank a farmer or rancher that you know. Share this video with them. Share with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, don't forget to connect <laughs> with others. Work diligently. Act justly. And be courteous to everyone.